New at 11, Alexandra Lewis asks an expert, and the answer might surprise you. Alex? Jack Deb, some experts say if you look inside your child's phone, you're basically in denial because you'd see a lot of things that you wouldn't expect to see. So it brings us to the age-old question, to snoop or not to snoop. The newest research says teens send and receive about 100 texts a day. And some of those texts are, shall we say, not safe for work. It's 11 o'clock at night. Let me do a selfie of fill in the blank. One in five high schoolers admit to sexting. Um, that is, that's a big number. That's a big number. Professionals find the stats alarming too. Yes, yeah, it does shock me. Dr. Gregory Ramey, director of mental health at Dayton Children's Hospital, says teens guilty of sharing explicit pics aren't bad kids, just irresponsibly impulsive. Think about it. You give a teenager the ability to take a picture and send it instantly. They're going to use it, and they're not always going to use it in a responsible way. So as a parent, how do you intervene? I really don't look through her cell phone. I wouldn't want to invade their privacy. I want them to do to develop on their own, but I think if I had some calls or some intuition. I'm not sure what's going on. He's you know, he's 17 and a half now. It's kind of hard to do. Even Dr. Ramey admits he doesn't have a foolproof solution to digital promiscuity. All kids are different, and there's not exactly a one-size-fits-all remedy to how often you should look through your kid's phone. But I do know there's one principle you should never ever violate and that principle is one of honesty. Honestly I would do it behind their backs. If you're my daughter and I'm going to review and take a look at your phone once a week I'm going to tell you that beforehand. Don't do it unless you let your child unless you tell your child what you're doing. Experts say if you see something you don't want to see you want to talk to your kids being open and concerned and not angry and horrified. Reporting live in the newsroom tonight, Alexandra Lewis, ABC 22 News.